Hi, my name is Evan. I'm from the Micro Center Tech Support Department. Today we're going to take a look at how to update your iPad or iPad 2 to the new iOS 5 operating system. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Okay, to get started with updating the iPad to iOS 5, we need to go ahead and connect the iPad to the computer using the USB cable. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click on Start, All Programs, and we're just going to open up iTunes. Okay, you'll see once iTunes open, it actually will pop up automatically and tell you there is a new software version for the iPad. So we're going to go ahead and click on Download and Update here. And you may get a message telling you if you have paid apps on the iPad that haven't been transferred to your library, you can go ahead and transfer those by clicking Cancel and you can go back and do that. If not, you can go ahead and just click on Continue, which is what I'm going to do here. And you also get another message telling you everything that will be backed up and approximately how long it'll take to do that. So we'll go ahead and click on update again. And here we'll just get a message uh, letting you know all the things that are going to be updated uh, with iOS 5. So you can read through those and when you're done just go ahead and click on next. And then we just have the terms and agreement. We need to agree with that. So we'll just click on agree. And you'll see here at the top that the update is starting. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to download so you just have to be patient with that. Okay, you can see it's finished downloading the software now. So it's going to go ahead and do the update. Okay, and it'll, the status bar right there at the top will keep you updated. And it's going to go ahead and back up the iPad before it actually applies any updates. Okay, and you can see it's still going through here applying all the updates. And we don't have a video of it, but on the iPad itself, you can see it has a little progress bar showing that it is updating the software. Okay, you can see here that it's restoring all our downloaded content back to the iPad. And just we want to go ahead and follow along with the message here and leave the iPad connected. You will notice also that the iPad reboots a couple times during this process. That's normal. Okay, if you go ahead and click on the iPad now, you can see that it says the software is up to date, so that completes updating the iOS 5 for the iPad. Okay, for more information and help, please visit www.microcentertech.com.